Hello and welcome back to episode 14 of The Sinking City. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. Let's do it. So we need to get back to Throckmorton's place. Too bad we couldn't take the mirror. I wonder, did she break it on her way through or did it break because she used it? That'd be pretty wild if that guy invested all that effort in making that giant mirror and it was a, a one-use-only kind of do-jabby. I picked the wrong direction to go with that boat so we can get back on it. I don't think there's another very good option right now anyway. Come on, steering, please. Let's let's go somewhere. Okay, turn. Come on. All right. Please. There we go. Not that way. Yeah. We gotta get around this taxi, bus. Yep. Can I bonk that? I cannot. It looks like it's floaty, but it's not floaty. Throckmorton's got guards, and he's probably pretty formidable himself. I wonder what the old lady thinks that she's bringing to the table that's going to compete with all of that. Especially if she's planning on hijacking that corpse. Which I think is a very real possibility. Like, she's kind of out of allies. And, uh, I mean, yeah, she yeah, stabbed a guy, but, like, she probably doesn't even have more knives. There we go. Starting to fill out the map a little bit. Definitely glad that they've got these, uh, phone booths. It'll be a lot of walking. I wonder if we can get any visine for our boy, Charles. His poor eyes look like they're hurting. I found a disturbing book, Mr. Throgmorton, on mirrors. It spoke of imprisoned souls, now level with me. What is it you're after? I suppose there's no point in being coy. I have learned that I once had a brother, Hammond. My father robbed me of him. Hammond is inside the mirror, trapped by sorcery. My father's doing. Why, I cannot guess. But he is a Throgmorton. He must be saved. Have a good day. All right, well, that's not what I expected to find when I got here. I thought we were going to find crazy lady interested in that guy there did she sneak in upstairs undetected no did she go to a different house is there another Throgmorton house We saw her crossing through the mirror. She's gone to the mirror maker's house. Oh, I need to be not here, but at City Hall. I think City Hall is where I need to be.
Yes. Because we need to figure out where the mirror maker lives. Or lived. Before he... Hopefully made good his escape. Or maybe not so hopefully. If he knows how to make mirrors that go to this awful prison dimension. Uh, maybe it's preferable that he not escape. Bonk. No, we're looking for... Oh, maybe I should have gone to, um, to the Popo. What the hell? Yes. Citizens. Citizen records. What do I do for the third one? Legal documents? Oh, I can only pick one from each category. I don't think this is what I need. I think I gotta be at the police station after all. You win this time, lady. Yeah, let's see. So if the police wanted to talk to him, they might have also issued a warrant to get him at his house, right? That would make sense. Don't worry about me, officer. I'm just here to do shit that you ought to be doing again. Okay, so complaints, subjects... Uh, suspects. Mm. Documentation. Let's try that. There we go. Residents fled the city. Last known location. Northern Old, Old Grove. Corner of Windhoff and Gold Bridge. Perfect. Northern Old Grove, corner of Windolf and Gold Bridge. That's pretty close to other things that we've been up to. Interesting. These jobs are super easy when you know how to use your tools. Of course, it's hard to know how to use your tools when you are yourself a tool, am I right? So now we're going over here. Doing this as a detective game is an interesting choice. Uh, it means that we don't have to spend a lot of time with monsters trying to eat our faces. Which I think is actually good for the setting, because uh, like it, it probably wouldn't do to put, you know, for example, an Isaac Clark in this sort of scenario. Alright, so Glass Boy's around here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, did I get it on the first go? Yes, I did. Okay. Get smacked. Any other takers? Man, I went into that like I was all out of bubble gum. Looky here. These have been here a while. How did they get here? These have been here a while. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Here we go. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? How about a uh, miniature mirror? Thanks. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again a most eligible bachelor. The divorce court hearing took place this Tuesday. No press were allowed in the courtroom, but the results were made public immediately after the ruling. Bethany Throgmorton's deteriorating mental health was deemed a sufficient reason to terminate the couple's marriage. There's been enough mourning, said Francis while exiting the courtroom. Our son Hammond's death was a tragedy, but we must stay strong. It's a pity Bethany could not. That guy seems like a real piece of work. I find it interesting that so many of these houses have such similar layouts. Nice. A simple warding spell can be created through the application of sympathetic magic. To establish an accord that affects an entity, one must find a similar entity that has a powerful bond with the other. Somebody's been doing their homework. Indeed. His manner into a museum of vintage mirrors collected over many decades. And the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations. Oh, I'm thinking that uh, Mama Throgmorton set up shop here looking for mirror stuff. This was her base of operations when she was on walkabout from the asylum. And those idiots from the asylum just let her go. Can't carry more shell casings. Well, we can make room for shell casings. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I can carry more shell casings. Hooray! Charles, keep it together. The uh, bonus sanity did not do as much for me as I thought it might. Whoa! We got a whole little altar in here. Damn. Life can be cruel. Uh huh. That sigil looks active. So let's see what it's about. What the? No, my head. Uh, damn it. 
I can't. I can't. What is that? Okay, so what's what's the deal? Are we going into the mirror? I think that might be a bad idea. Hey! Hey, let me out! Is that it? Okay, um let's Yeah. That was a good idea. So what else do we need to find here? Time for forensics. We found the things. Alrighty, so... There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Okay. And then the other stuff is downstairs. All of it. Is there anything up here? There's a something up here. Yeah, here we go. These rights, they might buy me time. Okay. And then downstairs. This place has got a hell of a basement. to be away. Time to piece this one together. Really? Those three things? Hmm. So this is the first one that's not immediately obvious. Should we start with this one? Or with the research. I guess we'll start with the research, right? Let's try it. These rights, they might buy me time. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Yeah, she learned about the sympathetic magic and then she used it between the small mirror and the big mirror. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. No, okay. Um, maybe this one's first. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. Yeah. And then the research, and then the small mirror. There are only a few valid orderings right. of three items. They might buy me time. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. That there we go. Set up some sort of barrier to buy time while she tries to free Hammond. I could remove it by destroying her ritual mirror. Why would I do that? Okay. 
So it seems like Throgmorton and Throgmorton have been working against each other, uh, even though they have the same objective. They both want Hammond out of the mirror. So, oh, maybe destroying it actually isn't even an option. So if we go talk to the boss man, isn't he just going to be like, oh, neat, let's finish the ritual and and get him all releasified. Right? Okay. Um, so let's go talk to him and find out what he's got to say for himself. That one isn't marked yellow or green. Why not? Because we still have more quest to do. Is that the deal? It's not possible to have done all the things. So, yes. All right, so let's go find the boss guy and, uh, and find out what he's got going on. I mean, it seems likely to me that releasing the baby soul from the torture prison, uh, where it's been for, I'm going to go with decades, uh, and, and putting it in some kind of earthly body, that yes, that is going to have negative consequences. Uh, but it also seems like it's what everybody wants. And also, I didn't see an option to not make it unless I should have just shot the mirror but you know what I did the responsible thing with the expedition so now I think we're going to do the irresponsible I'm not in the thing mood for chit chat Mr. Reed uh, what I must smash it to lift the barrier oh I have to lift the barrier why do I want to lift the barrier I'm not really following the logic of this. I'm going to lift the barrier and then what? Where where's the the insane baby spirit going to go? Don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, the point is that she needs to find, like, a body to put the baby in. Then they're... <laughs> Am I going to put the baby in me? Is that really... Is that really what we're doing? I'm not equipped to have a baby in me. It doesn't work that way. For real? Um... That might be mildly inconvenient right now. Well, I guess it's not so bad. Okay. I'm about to die. Get it in you, not the baby. Come on. Okay. All right, so last time we came in, there was another one of those. Is he still around also? We don't need to go very far. Now something horrible is happening downstairs, I expect. And 
takers? Oh, no, no. You can't have him. I won't let you. You can't take the mirror, you hear me? Bethany, calm down, please. I mean you no harm. No, you, you won't take my child. Not again. I won't let you. I just want to talk? It's okay. We can talk about this. I know the mirror is important to you. It's my son. My, my son. His soul, his very being trapped in the mirror. Cold, hungry, scared for decades. It's, uh, okay, it's so hard to understand. His body is dead. But his soul is frozen in glass, unable to move on or return without help. Oh, Francis thought this was merciful, oh, the wretch. All right, so what are you going to do? What do you mean to do then? I can call Hammond back into his own body. Don't judge me. This... This may seem unnatural, but, but, but we will be together. Everything is ready. I'm sure it will work. I only need to break the mirror to release him. I can't go back empty-handed. And I won't leave without my son. <sighs> Putting him back in his dead body is not going to work. I'm taking the mirror. It's crazy, Bethany. Even if it worked, it wouldn't be right. I'm taking the mirror to Robert. No, you can't. I won't let you. Oh, put your skirt back down, lady. I can't, I can't even do anything about that. Good thing I was so close, so she just pistol whipped me. That would have been inconvenient if she had started shooting. You're coming with me. All evidence collected. That's what we want to see. Unlike the granny panties that we all did not want to see. No, look, if, if you wanted to see that, I really, I really don't want to know, okay? Just take your, take your W and keep it to yourself. You better be keeping it to yourself. So now we're going to take it to Robert, and what's Robert going to do? He's not going to try and put it in the dead baby body. Maybe he's going to be the, have the idea to put it in his son. But his son is all embalmified and stuff. His organs got all took out, and he's his veins are full of formaldehyde. So he's not going to be a good choice either. So what's the plan going to be, Throgmorton? Oh, and I killed your dad's ex. I suppose that's going to be okay. Hey, hey. I tracked down the mirror. Oh, was that a chase? Excellent. Hand it over, please. You have rendered my family and its noble bloodline a great service, Mr. Reed. Here, your reward. Earned in full, I might add. What will so, you do with it? I have the mirror. What's your plan? To find Hammond a body fit for a true-born Throgmorton. Pongo a belly seems an appropriate choice. Pongo a belly? The hell is that? I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. Yeah, it figures. Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Just stay dead, okay? Alright, what are we going to spend our knowledge point on? 
set traps quickly? Who cares about that? More vitality? That could be handy. Melee attacks stronger? That seems super useful. Okay, and with that, we are all out of time for episode 14, so come back and see me again next time for something new. Um, since I am about to go and stock up on goodies, maybe we'll go and grab another book or two before our ammo is all spent again. And then we'll probably get back on the main quest. Talk to you soon. <laughs>